you know, a lot of times we come to these foreign auto shows and we just leave disappointed because most of the cars we're not gonna get. Well, right now I've got five cars that are not a tease at all. They are coming to US shores. The Audi Q5 has always been a big seller and this newly revamped model does not disappoint us. You've got your choice of two options, a 252 horsepower engine or 354. It's got a newly re-engineered all-wheel drive system that will uncouple the rear when it's not needed. So front wheel drive when it's not needed, all wheel drive when you do need it. It will also have the optional virtual cockpit, which is always our favorite. You can expect to see it in the States in early 2017. Next up from Audi is the RS3. This sedan is a 400 horsepower sleeper, zero to 62 in 4.1 seconds, top speed of 174 miles an hour. Yes, I will go get groceries in the RS3. Essentially, this is the five cylinder engine from the two seat Audi TT RS. They just kind of shoved it into a more practical five seat sedan. It should come to America as a 2018 model. You know, I've never been a fan of four door Porsches, but the Panamera is a big seller for the manufacturer. And starting in the summer of 2017, America is going to get a hybrid version. The electric motor combines with a 2.9 liter twin turbo engine, and it's good for a net power output of 462 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. You know, that is a hybrid I can get behind. The long awaited Honda Civic Type R is finally making it to our shores. We just don't know exactly when. We can expect a high revving engine making just north of 300 horsepower, all made it to an awesome six speed manual transmission. Now most of the competition is going all wheel drive, but Honda's keeping it old school with the same front wheel drive platform. We should see this as a model in Europe in late 2017. So we've probably got about a year to wait in America. And last but not least is the LaFerrari Aperta. This is the convertible version of the V12 electric hybrid supercar. Now this maintains the same stiffness as the coupe version, but you do gain a little bit of weight, about 100 pounds. But you know what? That is a small price to pay to feel that, that wind blowing through your hair. What is not a small price, however, is the actual price tag. Expect to pay upwards of $2 million for this bad boy, but you know what? It's okay, I've taken that decision away from you completely because the entire production line of 209 units sold out. We will be seeing these in America though, and I for one can't wait to see it on the highway.